Hi, James Kendrick with J.K. On the Run, www.jkontherun.com. Today I want to show you a real cool thing. I've been listening for quite some time to Kevin Toffel and Matt Miller expounding about their iPhone touch interface. And I have to admit, the, the touch interface that Apple put on the iPhone is pretty phenomenal. It works very well. But what's interesting is it opened up a lot of developers' eyes to what they can do on other platforms. And I have to admit that the HTC Advantage with its 5-inch VGA screen is absolutely crying out for a good touch interface in some applications so that you can manipulate things and scroll with your finger, just like on the iPhone. And recently... Two programs came to my attention. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you, and this is going to be a very brief overview. The first one that I'm going to show you is from a company called Vito Technologies, and they've been doing Windows Mobile software for quite some time. They do a lot of audio note stuff and, and, and some other things, but they recently contacted me and said, you know what? We want to show you a new program that we're about to release called Fun Contacts. And it brings the kinetic touch scrolling interface to the Windows Mobile platform. And we'd like you to look at it because we think it'd be perfect for the VGA screen of the HTC Advantage that you're using. So, of course, I said yes. And I'm having a blast playing with this program. And I'm going to get it up here. This is the uh, Pocket Plus 4 uh, home screen, which I'm going to show you a little bit about because that's our other program we're going to look at. But right now, I'm going to, uh, whoops, this is going to be hard. Far up, this is Fun Contacts. And as you can see, it's just a big screen of scrolling contacts, uh, which, which is pretty cool. Now, the important thing to remember is I have over 3,700 contacts in my uh, PIM database. And Fun Contacts apparently caches the whole thing when it starts. It starts a little slowly, but the, I have a lot more contacts than most people. But it works pretty well. Let me show you the scrolling, and I'm going to get up because I need to make sure that I can get this on camera for you. I want to make sure that you can really see this pretty well because it's cool and it's hard to do okay so here we go I'm gonna just start scrolling see how you got the kinetic scrolling faster slower up down however you want to go through it and see your contact information I'm trying to get this where you can keep seeing it and it's actually Besides being fun to use, it's very practical because I'm finding that even with <clears throat> this large number of contacts that I have in my database, I can quickly get to stuff because they've also put a nice little um, alphabet tab index on, on the right there. And I just hit the T and went straight there. Let's go to N. You saw that. Let's go back to T. And you can scroll around, and it's really cool, and it's very easy to use, and it works fast. You can sit there. I can go all through this thing, and I have so many contacts. You see how many T's I have. And I'm looking for one in particular because I want to show you when you all you have to do is tap on one. And this is my optometrist, which, whoops. So you can go slow, too. Let me tap on my optometrist which should, uh, I'm upside down, so you'll have to bear with me. It works much easier. Let me... Now, of course, it doesn't want to play, right? So I've been playing around with it too much. Okay. Now I'm going to go back out and show you that again, because it was it's pretty cool. See how it goes. I'm going to try to, I'm doing this upside down. Please bear with me. I tapped on my Today's Vision Optometrist, and you saw how it moved around. It was really cool. It's very simple. It's got their phone number, which I know they won't mind me putting out here because they're a business, right? They want your business. 
Now, a couple of things here. You see this little star up here? Tap it, and I've now starred this, which, when I go back out here, see this little menu tab down here, stars, is all my favorites here. Just like works just like Google Reader when you tag something as a favorite. And that's today's vision, which I just which I just did. Let's go back to the main window here. And I'm going to go back to them because I want to show you some stuff here. Um, this is really cool interface. You see how everything's big here. If I just tap on the phone number here, you'll see what happens. I think, did I tap it? I'm really upside down. I can't tell. Let me go back out here. This is this is really hard to do by myself upside down. I'm sorry. If I just tap on the phone number, you hear that, and instantly it tries to call them, which I'm gonna hang up here in a minute. See, we're calling via contact there, and then uh, I ended it. If I hit the X button in the corner, I go right back there. Now there's also if you can see it, an SMS button. And if you hit the SMS button, it should fire up the standard Windows Mobile messaging screen for entering in a text message. Let's cancel that message because I don't want to come back to that. So that's pretty cool. And in the bottom, you've got an edit thing where if you just say, I want to edit something, you get this keyboard. And the keyboard is quite usable. As you can see. And I think it, it's spaced funny because maybe perhaps this is a VGA. Now I don't want to do that. So let's go back to, uh, we'll turn that off and we'll go here. Now you've got all these buttons down here. Here you can minimize it. Go back to your home screen, and then I'll fire it right back up, and you'll see how fast it is. But see how cool this is? This is, like, really cool. This program is great. So that is Fun Contacts, and I'm going to minimize this, <clears throat> by Vito Technologies. Now, the other touch I wanted to show you briefly is Pocket Plus 4, which is an upgrade that was just recently released this past week. And one of the cool things it adds to a bunch of different things, uh, and I'm going to show you, is I'm going to fire up Internet Explorer. You see Internet Explorer. It's also added, and I'm going to get up again because it's hard to do it once again. Let's see how we can do this where you can see it better. Is Kinetic Scrolling. Look at that. See how that's going? Now this also is a pan, so you can pan over, pan around, and it's very light touch, and you can use it. It's a really cool way. I've actually, since upgrading to Pocket Plus 4 with the scrolling, I'm actually using this more than the Opera browser, which is actually my favorite, because this is an easy way to work with the browser. Now, the Pocket Plus, of course you can pan up and down like this too. Typical panning function. Now Pocket Plus also integrated this into some regular Windows Mobile windows. Like here is the uh, File Explorer, Windows Mobile File Explorer. And you can scroll in there too. Really, really useful. That's a great upgrade, and I highly recommend it. I, I've, I've been using Pocket Plus from day one on the Advantage. I love it. So that's been two brief looks, or a brief look at two different touch-enabled programs for the Windows Mobile platform. Works really well. Highly recommend them, and give it a look. 
I don't know how well they'll work on QVGA screens, which are smaller, but absolutely awesome on the HTC Advantage. This has been James Kendrick with www.jkontherun. We'll see you again next time. See ya.